Hey everyone, it's time for another Pathfinder Adventure Card Game Scenario. Uh, still on the basic level, and this is uh, Scenario 5. So I guess Scenario B5 over at the Thorn Scrub, where at this location you may not evade a Bane that has the Poison trait. Alright, so we are advancing the Blessings deck, and the first card we get at the Thorn Scrub is the Falling Rubble. Okay, Obstacle Trap uh, Task, basic. So check to defeat, dexterity, acrobatics, perception, survival. Uh, fortunately, Alhazra has survival of wisdom plus two, so d8 plus two. Uh, let's see, she also has the find traps spell. I think we're going to go ahead and use that. We can discard this card to add two dice and a check to defeat a barrier. And this is a barrier. So I'll be able to roll 3d8. That's pretty amazing. 3d8 and add two to the result. Okay, I think a fairly good chance of doing that. Well, you'd think two, four, and this, believe it or not, is a seven. Hard to see. So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, the falling rubble has been defeated. It says, if defeated, you may explore your location. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Hey, and we get toxic geyser. Wow. So let's see what we get here. So the difficulty to defeat is increased by twice the scenario's adventure deck number. So this is scenario, um, the basic scenario. So no uh, increase in difficulty. So it says here, if undefeated. So I have to do a dexterity, acrobatics, wisdom, survival. Okay, so I, uh, I have the D8 plus 2 for my survival. I also have a Blessing of the Ancients in hand. So Alhazra roll, will roll 2D10, 2D8 and add 2 to the results. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we um, have successfully defeated this barrier. Okay, so very fortunate. So there's only two barriers in this location, and we got rid of them all. Resetting uh, Alhazra's hand, advancing the blessings deck, and we get a crowbar. Okay, so it's a strength three. Alhazra has a strength of d6. So we're going to roll a d6 and see what happens. All right, we rolled a three. Okay, cool. So it's always cool acquiring items because we'll have stuff to trade to a trader. So we are um, discarding that, so we have a hand size of six. Advancing the Blessings deck. Okay, and we get a Ghost Scorpion. It has poison, so we can't evade this creature. Alhazra does have a whip in her hand that she got last uh, scenario. So let's see, when you, we did not examine this card. If the check to defeat has the fire trait, add one die. That's pretty awesome. So we do have the fire blade spell in our hand so it's going to be we're going to use fire blade it's a divine skill which is d10 plus it's 2d4 and since it has the fire trait we're going to add another d10 all right pretty awesome we have to roll a nine or higher all right so we rolled a five and a 10 is 15 16 and four is 20 plus three 23 all right, Ghost, Stor Ghost Scorpion is defeated. Rolling to see if I recharge my Fire Blade spell. So I rolled an 8. I needed a Divine 8 check. Uh, Alahazra's uh, Divine skill is D10 plus 3. So that's actually an 11. We recharge this spell. Pretty awesome. So what we'll do now is we will recharge or reset Alahazra's hand. You will advance the Blessings deck. And we get a Death Hound. Okay, Death Hound. Two combat seven checks. So what we're going to do is we have... It says here, if the result of both checks to defeat are greater than 11, you may banish a Scourge. If not, suffer the Scourge Curse of Vulnerability. Okay, so let's see. It says, after you act, succeed at a Constitution or Fortitude 8 check or discard a card. Well, Alhazra does have a whip. So it says, for your combat check, reveal this card to use your strength or melee plus 1d6. Okay, so we can just reveal that, and we can have 2d6. Okay, and we're just going to keep it there. We're going to use the whip. Uh, we get 2d6 to our check. Rolling the dice. Okay, so with this one, 
We rolled a 5 and a 1 is a 6. So we do have the game of the afterlife in our hand. Where it says, when you would fail a check, bury this card to re-roll one die. Take the new result. Okay, so we will bury this card. We are going to re-roll that one. We will use a different die. And hopefully roll higher than a one. Alright, so we rolled a five. So we completed the first check. Now for the second check. So since we rolled a, a five. Okay, so that was actually greater than eleven. So let's see. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use the whip again. So 2d6. So we're rolling 2d6. Let's see what we get. Alright, so we rolled a 3, 4, 5. So we failed that check, but this time we have MAGA helping out, who's going to add 3 to this result. So 5, 6, 7, 8. We will recharge that ally. So it says here, if the result of both checks. So both checks were not greater than 11. That one I just barely made with uh, MAGA. So we successfully defeat the Death Hound. All right, pretty awesome. That uh, new whip weapon is turning out to be really cool. Okay, so we used up quite a few cards there. Resetting the hand. Advancing the Blessings deck. Still in the Thorn Scrub. Okay, we get an Armored Kelt. So I'd like to acquire this so that I have some good boons to trade a trader. So, Constitution Fortitude. Wow, so Al Hazra has Constitution D4. I mean, sorry, D6. So that is a failure. Maybe I should have used a Blessing on that. It gets banished. Advancing the Blessings deck. Okay, we get a Caravan Raider. Uh, lots of uh, monsters in the Thorn Scrub. So there's no uh, increase in difficulty to defeat. So it's a Stealth 7 or Combat 9. We will use the whip, 2d6. Uh, what we're going to do then is we're going to use the Blessing of the Ancients. So I get to roll 3d6, and I need a 9 or higher. So let's see what happens. Alright, so I rolled 2, 4, wow, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, hard to believe. Uh, so that was a failure then. So if undefeated, the Caravan Raider deals no damage and said to banish a boon. Wow, so that is harsh. So I have to banish a boon? So I guess we will banish... Hmm, we'll banish a Flame Staff. And the Caravan Raider gets returned to the location deck. Hmm. Should have just blasted him with the Immolate spell. I'm getting to... I like using that whip too much. So we're just rolling to see which card is at the top of the location deck. Resetting uh, Al Hajra's hand. Advancing the Blessings deck. And we get... Okay, he's back. Okay, this time we will use the Immolate spell. So it's going to be a D10. The Thorn Scrub is just filled with Caravan Raiders. D10 plus... 2d4, plus we're going to discard a Blessing of the Ancients and roll an additional d10. Alright, let's do that. Okay, more than enough. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 1, and 2. I keep forgetting uh, Alhazra's ability where if she uses a card that has the attack and fire, she can actually add a d8. So that would have been more than enough. Okay, Caravan Raider <coughs> is banished. We're going to see if I recharge the Immolate spell. And I rolled a 1. Uh, my recharge was d10 plus 4. So not enough. So resetting uh, Alhazra's hand. She is losing some cards. She only got 3 cards left in her, uh, in her deck. Advancing the Blessings deck. And we get... Okay, we get uh, this scenario's uh, adversary or villain. Okay, so what we have here, it says here, um, all damage dealt by the alchemist is poison damage. So then, uh, before you act, a random character at your location is dealt one damage. So we don't, okay, so we have the uh, Tussa Silk Cloak. We can recharge this card to reduce the damage. Uh, yep, yeah, poison. So it can, re uh, it can stop poison damage, so we will recharge that card. Stop the poison damage. Then it says here, for each card, 
that has a poison trait in your hand or displayed next to your deck, add 1d4 to your checks against the Thuvian Alchemist. So don't have anything with poison. Uh, so what we have, uh, unfortunately, we don't have any cool spells. We uh, have to rely once again on the whip. So the whip is going to be strength skill plus 1d6. We have a blessing of the ancients. So we're going to roll 3d6. We need to have a combat 12 check. And that's where we're at. Okay, so 3d6, we need a 12. Okay, so we roll a 3, 6, 9. Okay, wow. So 9, that means that what happened was that... Hmm. So 3, 6, 9, no way around that. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take 3 points of damage. And we're going to have to, since it's poison damage, we're going to have to suffer the Scourge of Poisoning. Okay, so grabbing a Scourge of Poisoning here. And then what we're going to do, so we right now have this displayed by our deck. We have to take three points of damage. I'm going to lose those cards. Uh, the last card in my hand is a Cure Spell, so this will be a great time to use the Cure Spell. So we are going to recharge three random cards back into our deck. So that's going to be very useful since we were almost going to die there. So, one, two, three. We get three cards back into our deck, which is awesome. So, shuffling my location, or my, not my location, my uh, character deck. Rolling to see if I recharge the cure spell. Really want to roll high here. Ouch. So I needed an eight, and I only rolled a five. Okay, so, Curse of Poisoning we have. Thuvian Alchemist is shuffled back into the deck. And what we're going to do, I'm going to randomly determine which card is at the top of the location deck. It's that one. Okay, uh, reset in my hand. So, I have a total of... Okay. Resetting the hand, advancing the Blessings deck. Let's see what we get. Okay, we get a Blessing of the Ancients. So it's Divine 3. Well, that's awesome, because this is an auto-acquire for Alhazra. How very fortunate. And we're going to use it right away. We're going to discard this card to examine the top card of the location deck. Then we may explore. Okay, we're examining that. So then, what we're going to do... Uh, da, 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 da. So we're going to examine it. And we are going to encounter that card because we need to so it says before you act we must succeed at a dexterity or acrobatics 8 check okay so we're going to try to do that uh, the dexterity for Alhazra is only a d8 hmm okay so d8 let's see I'm oh, sorry her dexterity is only a d4 and we, re we need to do a dexterity 8 check ouch uh, don't want to use a Blessing of the Ancients. Uh, do we want to use Blessing of the Ancients? Um, blessing of the Ancients. Shucks. This is going to be hard. This is going to be tough. Hmm. Let's see. Well, first of all, I needed to roll for the Curse of Poisoning. So I actually need to reset the whip. So I'm only playing with five cards in my hand, just so I'm doing this legally. So the problem is, is that I have to make that dexterity check or be dealt 1d4 minus 1 damage. So I guess what I'm going to do, since this is down to the wire, I'm just going to roll. I'm going to auto fail the dexterity check and I'm going straight to the damage check. And I'm going to really hope that I roll a 1 for the fire damage. Alright, and instead I rolled a 2, so I'm going to take 1 point of fire damage, so that means I'll go ahead and lose a card. Now, what I'm going to do is, so this check will have the fire, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Immolate spell, so it's not immune to fire. Okay, Immolate is just d10 plus 2d4. Okay, I think we might, we might survive here. Let's see if I roll... So we rolled a 3, and then we rolled another 3, and we rolled a 4. So we we defeated the Fire uh, Hydra, which is awesome. 
thanks to the emulet spell. But now this is the crunch time. I have to make this. I have to make this check. Otherwise, Alhazra will uh, not. She only has two cards left in her uh, deck. So I need a Arcane Divine seven check. Okay, so I rolled a three, and my divine is Charisma plus four. So uh, just barely made it. So we did recharge that card. So now what's going to happen is that we are resetting Alhazra's hand. So we're resetting it. We have exactly six cards. No cards left in her deck. Now we're rolling for Curse of Poisoning to see which card we are recharging. Okay, we are recharging the Whip. Whip gets recharged. Okay, final card in the Blessings deck. And she's back. This is the last card in the Location deck. This is our last attempt to defeat this villain. So it says here, before you act, a random character at your location is dealt one damage, which is poison damage. Uh, fortunately, we have that Tussa Silk Cloak, which we can recharge to reduce that damage. Okay, and now we are ready to roll. So we have the Combat 12. We have the Immolate spell. We're going to remember Alhazra's special ability. Maybe I already forgot to do that. Where if it has the fire or poison trait, we can add 1d8. I probably could have used that originally. Maybe this uh, scenario wouldn't have been that uh, challenging. But as it is, I get to roll d8 plus 2d4 plus we get to roll the 1d8 thanks to Alhazra's special ability. We need to get a combat 12 check. We're adding 3 to this roll. So 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, so we completely uh, get, uh, well, final uh, adding here. 8, 9, 10, 13. So we rolled a total of 20. But now the thing is, is we have to roll for that Immolate spell in order to recharge it. So recharging Immolate. And we rolled a 6 plus a 4. So we needed a 7. We recharge that card. We are able to reset our hand back to 6, because that's exactly what we had. And this villain is banished. The Thorn Scrub is closed. All right. Well, very, very entertaining scenario there. Uh, pretty awesome. Uh, it was challenging. Maybe I did forget to add that extra D8. Got through the Curse of Poisoning. Let's go ahead and uh, do a deck check here for uh, Alhazra, because she has uh, lots of cool stuff. V, let's go ahead and do the deck check here. Yeah, maybe I forgot that 1d8. I'll have to start remembering that. But this is a new campaign, playing with a new character here. I've never played with uh, Alhazra before. Uh, so far, it's working out really cool. I'm really liking, uh, of course, that whip. Let's go ahead and move that uh, camera over here. So yeah, really, really uh, liking how this character is turning out. A lot of fun. Okay, so we got the crowbar. So we got that to trade to a trader. Okay, so this is the state of uh, Alhazra's deck. The reward for this scenario was actually the Smiths of Wati. So what we're going to do is uh, let's go ahead and visit the Smiths of Wati. Is there any other? So that's it. That's the only reward. So Smiths of Wati. He's going to have some new weapons for Alhazra. I mean, I, I like that whip. I mean, it's pretty cool. I mean, maybe I should just go... I don't know. I'm. You know what? I'm liking the whip. So I think what I'm going to do is I only have two items. Uh, I had to banish that flame staff, which really hurts. So what I'm going to do is instead, I'm going to go ahead and meet good old Hayden Hopper. And we're going to try to get that flame staff back because uh, that is a really useful item. So Hayden Hopper, uh, we'd have to trade him two, so we'd have to trade him two things. And unfortunately, we really don't have two things to trade him. We're actually at a, like a full deck here. Hmm, so let's go ahead and see what uh, Hayden Hopper, you know what, that's, that's a really good call because unfortunately, we didn't succeed at gaining enough uh, boons. Because as it is, with the uh, card feet here, she has all of her cards. She has the weapon. She has the five spells. She has the armor. She has the items. She has her two allies. She has one, two, three, four. She has her five. Actually, one, two, three. Okay, so she gained a blessing. 
Okay, so she can actually go ahead. She can meet Hayden Hopper. I forgot she acquired a blessing there. So let's randomly determine uh, what items Hayden Hopper is trading. So four, one, two, three. He's uh, offering that one, and one, two, three, four, that one. Okay, so he says that for trade. Okay, so he's offering just acid flasks. So that is a useful card. Uh, we will have to banish this card to use a disabled range skill. Hmm. You know, honestly, it's like I might just want to hold on to the crowbar. I think that uh, that's probably going to be more useful than uh, the acid flask because when it comes to attacking offense, I think uh, the whip, the crowbar, will be much more useful. So, you know, we do thank uh, Hayden Hoppert for his time. We say no thank you for the wares. We are going to keep the crowbar. So, very interesting scenario, really challenging. Uh, kind of sucked that we lost the uh, flame staff there. We had to banish it, but uh, that's how that went. We have to lose this blessing so that we're back to a legal deck. And that is the state of uh, the campaign so far, the state of Al Hazra's deck. So hopefully you enjoyed watching that. Uh, a lot of fun. That was a really cool adventure. And I will have another scenario up shortly. All right, thank you.